welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can support our great leader Mazen Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network is a the Buhari impostor was shocked and lamented that he trusted the Fulani lapdog, Femi Adesino, and the lying, lying Mohammed. But they betrayed him because of their fear of Mazen and the Kano's trial. They are afraid. What might come out of the trial? They are afraid. And Femi Adesino had to leak some DSS operations in Biafra to international journalists as a way to exonerate himself from the Fulani Nigerian government after collecting some bribes. When Buhari Posto and Abuba Malami got wind of it, they threatened him with jail, so he might be jailed. He might go to jail. You know, Nigerians have been classified, or Nigeria has been classified as a country that is antagonistic to journalists and Nigerians in 2021 World Press Freedom Index. And Nigeria is ranked 120 out of 180 countries graded even though nigeria is a democratic state under a democratic leadership as presumed the full and nigerian government led by the buhare impostor is a criminal dictator and Fulani terrorist jihadist. The reporters without borders, which published the World Press Freedom Index annually, stated that Nigeria under Major General Buhari is now the most dangerous and difficult country for journalists and Nigerians, including Biafrans, whom they often spied on, attack, arrest, and kill. The Fulani Nigerian government uses the lawless criminals, the Nigerian DSS hoodlums, to carry out their nefarious activities, all their wicked and evil operations, especially in Biafra land where their focus is to silence any opposing force, freedom fighter or dissident force in the name of keeping Nigeria warm. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government wants to keep everybody silent while they carry out their genocide, their Fulani agenda, their conquest, killing and taking people's ancestral land. They want everyone to be silent. That is not possible because the world is watching. And that was why the reporters without borders had to, you know, they did a research, investigative journalism. And that was how they found out what is happening in Nigeria. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government, despite gagging and compromising the news medias in Nigeria, through the Fulani-controlled National Broadcasting Corporation, 
the Fulani terrorist jihadist Nigerian government are not even satisfied. And they want to turn Nigeria into another North Korea. But Biafra is the only reason why they haven't succeeded. Because IPOB and Eastern Security Network have resisted all the Fulani Janjaweed plans. They resisted it. And that is why they have increased their killings and looking for governors that will do the same or replicate what hopeless Uzodinjo is doing in Imo State, killing Biafrans. That's what they are looking. But Soludo has refused to accept their request. You know, the Fulani slave boy and lab dog, Femi Adesino, who boasted not too long ago that the Buhari impostor earned the major general title and calling him with the title is a proof of press freedom. But now, the Fulani terrorist bandit minister of information, the lying lie Mohammed, wept and, and, that, and cried that calling Buhari a major general is an abuse of press freedom which they all lied that he earned. You know, before they said he earned it, and now they are saying it is, uh, it is an abuse to call him that with that title. So I don't understand. Someone earned something, and they are calling him the, the, the title, and now you are saying it is an abuse. You can see that the foundation of the Fulani Nigerian government is based on lies, deception, and propaganda. And the line line Mohammed is the chief liar, the chief deceiver, and the chief propagator of propagandas. You know, they lied that the Buare poster will lead the war against terrorism, against insecurity from the front. Whereas the truth is that Buhari got his major general title through quota system and nepotism. He's not fit to be a recruit in the military. He's not fit to be. During the genocide Nigerian Civil War against Biafra in 1967 to 1970, the coward Buhari was overrun by Biafran volunteers until Olusha Gwapasenjo rescued him. Buhari is a failed major general, although he was fraudulently given that title. And that title should be stripped from him. After all, lying lie Mohammed said it's an abuse to address him with that title. So they should not strip it from him. They should strip it. Because in the first place, he is not qualified to be a major general. He does not deserve it. He does not deserve it. He does not deserve to be addressed as a major general or as a general. And it is a very big shame on the part of Nigeria for someone like the Buhari impostor to be called a general. The Fulani Nigerian government wants to try and hide the Buhari's major general title because it is so difficult and embarrassing to believe that a major general is the chief security officer of 
a country experiencing the worst form of insecurity in the history of Nigeria. When the chief security officers were civilians, Nigeria was safe than what it is currently experiencing. A chief, a chief security officer won't fail up to the level Major General Buhari has attained. He failed. He has disappointed the military. He has disappointed Nigeria. It's a disgrace to the military and to Nigeria and to even the whole of Africa. The Buhari imposter's priority is not to make Nigeria safe. He doesn't want to make it safe. But how to dispose Nigeria or displace Nigerians and Biafrans out of the ancestral land in continuation of the Fulani jihadist conquest of 1804, led by Uthman Danfodio, a Fulani terrorist jihadist. That evil impostor called Buhari must be captured as Israel or the Israelis captured the Nazi officials after the Holocaust in Germany. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.